Hello, welcome to Total Fight Time. I'm your host, Major League of Gaming Trap. This is the series where I choose a bunch of random characters to fight each other. We will learn about their power, strength, weaknesses to see who would win a fight or not. Alright, let us see the fighter for tonight. Lord Tyrick is the centaur from the land far away from Equestria and first and possesses the ability to steal the magic of other beings. Returning from a long exile in Tartarus, he sets forth to absorb all magic in Equestria, which he failed to do millennia prior. Early on, he enlists help from Discord, who was initially sent to stop him, playing on the back and was Cubas to win him over. Knowing loyalty only to himself, Tyrick is quick to betray Discord after gaining enough of his strength eventually stealing even Equestria's Licorn magic. However, shortly after achieving his goal, he is half imprisoned once more by the newly released Rainbow Power. He returned in the ninth and first and final season, acting as the final antagonist alongside Queen Priscilla's and first and cozy flow. For his weakest take, he is stronger than most other ponies, which are typically depicted to be on Spike the Dragon's level. The changelings for Spike as a threat to them, prompting them to capture him. The changelings were able to fight Rainbow Dash, who made a shockwave that cleared storm clouds from hundreds of miles away with her sonic brain boom as a Philly Empress and have done so effortlessly ever since, making him small country boss level. For his second form, he is comparable to base Queen Chrysalis, who contended with a clone of Licorn Twilight before being overpowered. While like the neutralized King Thumbug's attacks with high difficulty, who require both Princess Celestia and First and Lunas to be defeated, Lunas takes it to create shared dreams and First and she created a shared dream of every pony in Pawn Eagle. Pawn Eagle has between 3,100 and 4,300 citizens and First and dreams are treated as universes, making him multiversal level. For his third form, he was strong enough that he was confident in taking on the Lulicorn Princesses. These pumps are swirled appear to the other pillars of Equestria. Our swirl is superior to Licorn Twilight Sparkle, making him multiversal level. In his final form, he was strong enough that he felt confident in taking on Discord, who he then defeated and first and was shown to be near equal to Twilight Sparkle when she encompassed the power of four Licorns. Discord built back the cosmology like a sheep and first and show the TV static behind it. The cosmology contains Limbo, which is described as well between well the structure beyond the universes. Limbo is the space between the infinite universes and first and realities of the multiverse, making him low complex multiversal level. In his first form, he is comparable to the average pony, whose magic can hit the moon with their magic in 0.36 seconds making him faster than light. In his second form and first and above, he is on par with the above the licorn princesses. Luna can move through the dream realm, which houses an infinite hallway of doors, making him infinite. He took Twilight's full power laser to the face and first and only lost a tooth. He is incredibly clever and first and manipulative. He was able to manipulate Discord, who was able to do the same to the main thing. Along with Chrysalis and First and Cozy Flow, he was able to bypass the Canterlip Castle's improved security system without notice and First and turned the three pony drives against each other. He also conspired with Cozy Flow to help her any quest free of all its magic. However, his arrogance and First and short temper can leave him vulnerable, as Discord was able to trick him into firing a blast that breaks a shade and First and Free Starlight Flimmer. He can only steal magic from living beings, and for Stan seems to have trouble absorbing magic from stronger opponents. He is also rather arrogant and for Stan short temper. Overall, even with those flaws, Lord Tyrick is still by far one of the most dangerous entities in all of Equestria. 
Moral always was powerful with recruits fresh and universe seven about ten thousand years ago. His power proved to be so great that the grand supreme tiny could to sacrifice his own godly power in order to see what him with. Now that his power has been returned after millions of years of imprisonment, Moro once again poses the threat to the universe. Even while Ethan, the overpowered Super Saiyan Blue Goku and First and Vegeta and First and with his original power, he was able to contend with Ultra Instinct Goku while suppressing his true power. Ultra Instinct popped full from a Goku by millions of times, maybe even higher, which had surpassed his Super Saiyan God self from Battle of God, who, in a flash with heroes, shook and First and was about to destroy the universe, which is infinite in size and First and is composed of several universes including the subspace which is a realm devoid of the concepts of time and first and space and first and exists in between the room of spirit and first and time the Sugaru space. It's important to note the wording here, it's between these two dimensions, meaning that it's a like time and first and space and first and not contradict the room of spirit and first and time time dilation, making them high infinite multiversal level. He flew much faster than Son Goku and First and Vegeta and First and to disappear from their sight. Goku moved in the timeline they know had to operate in a form alone. Ultra Instinct Goku was able to keep up with them, even suppressed and massively exceed Mitsumasu in all forms, who forced his two individual halves, including the form future Zamasu took at the universe, making him insurable. He tanked multiple attacks from Ultra Instinct Sign Goku. Moro is an extremely skilled wizard with powerful magical abilities. He is also cunning in battle, concealing his true strength and percent capable of using underhanded methods to trick opponents. Moro must continue to absorb life force from planets in order to stay alive, and for Sancho his energy get forcibly taken he will revert to his old age. Overall, even with those flaws, Moro is still one of the most dangerous threats to the Dragon Ball world. Alright viewers, now that the prey analysis is done, let us get into who wins this fight and why. Now this is interesting, Tyrek is infinitely far stronger while Moro is infinitely far faster both are of like the same in intelligence. So this battle will have to come to their abilities, both of them can take away one's magic and first and life force, so they cancel each other out on that front. However, Tyrek has discord magic, and first and discord has been able to animate his own soul when it was removed from its body and first and is able to warp all of reality. This gives Tyrus a win on that front, while Moro is easily far over with more skill and percent experience, that ultimately won't help him out too much in the long run. So in conclusion, Lord Tyrus wins due to being far stronger, more durable, and percent having far better abilities than what Moro is used to. Now, if you want to see a rematch with Moro going up against his general one counterpart Tyrus, let me know through the voting poll. Next time on Total Fight Time. Okay. Grass grows, birds fly, sun shines, and brother, I heard. I'm a force of nature. Basically. Kind of a big deal. <laughs>